Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna be going around the town trying out fast food items that I have never had. Places keep dropping things so quickly. Every time I refresh my social media, I'm like, new item, and they all look so good. So we are gonna bundle a few together today and try them out and see how they are so I can tell you guys if it's worth it to get them or not. I also had you ask me some questions on my Instagram, so we're gonna be doing a Q&A as the day goes by as well. So our first stop of the day is this new garlic stuffed cheesy pizza from Papa John's. It looks delicious. I'm gonna place my order right now and then we are going to head our way to get some cheesy pizza. I'll be back, girlies. I won't be long, okay? I'm gonna go get a new pizza at Papa John's. Mmm, sounds good, huh? Here's a cheese puff for you, cheese puff for you, and one for you. Those are dog treats. <laughs> Okay, we made it to Papa John's. Let's see if my za is ready to be picked up. Hi, I have a pickup for Stephanie. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Okay, pizza is secured. We are eaten. It looks and smells delicious. Look at this, you guys. Look at that thick crust. That is loaded with some garlic cheese. And then we got our garlic sauces, and then I also got a marinara sauce, and we have our pepper. I love Papa John's, because you get the pepper. I always choose the best days to wear white, don't I? <laughs> Let's see if we get a cheese bowl with this crust. Oh my gosh. I don't think so, because they cut it really good. But yum. That is loaded. You can see it oozing out the side. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Okay guys, I cannot wait. We are gonna take a bite of this crust really quick. It's still so, so hot, but I need to try it. Mmm. Wow. Look at that cheese. It is so Okay, delish. We're gonna put this underneath us just so we don't have any spills. That is so good. I have not had a stuffed crust pizza probably. I couldn't even tell you. I would say like high school when we would get it on pizza day, which that was good. My high school's lunches. Oh, I wish I could get one of those again. Okay, Papa John's, nice crust. <laughs> Papa John's always reminds me of my dad because when I was in middle school and elementary school, we all had like home phones. So when I would call my friends, it would come up as Papa John because the last name would go first and then it would say comma and then the first name and then it like abbreviated the last name so it looked like Papa John was calling and all my friends would be like every time you call me it says Papa John's <laughs> oh how much I miss my dad It still is so like unreal like I can't even believe it's been this long like it's just still so unbelievable I really think sudden death like that in such a tragic way your mind can never just understand it like it's just so much pain and it just feels unreal where like your mind just doesn't understand it and you want to keep believing that it didn't happen Like, it, it really is just so horrible. And, like, it feels still unreal. And, like, no one really... I mean, not no one. I can't say no one. But, like, after six months goes by, like, everyone I know locally, like, no one cares anymore. Like, no one asks you how you're doing, really. I have a few friends that will text me, like, on holidays and things like that. Don't get me wrong. Like, people have been there for me. But majority, like, it's just, like, they forget about it and you just like move on. That's what's just so bizarre about 
like losing someone and death like everyone has their own lives they forget about what goes on in yours and they don't care but this garlic pizza with the garlic sauce This might be one of the best pieces I've ever had. Put some juices on there. Mmm. So I screenshotted a few questions that you guys asked and we are going to answer them today. So here, we'll do this one first since I was kind of already on that topic. What's the number one thing you are most proud of? So growing up, and even years back, I would always say sticking with YouTube forever, even through hate and just bullying, like just all of that, just sticking with what I wanna do and having tough skin, not letting anyone get to me, and me just enjoying what I enjoy to do. And hitting a million subscribers like that was always such a goal of mine when I was young if you don't know I started YouTube when I was eight years old and I never stopped I've done it literally my whole life it's always what I wanted to do I never did it to try and get free stuff or brand deals or to get paid from it nothing like that I just did it because I enjoyed doing it so that was in 2008 I started But I would say now what I'm most proud of is probably just just surviving what I went through. With losing a parent in such a tragic way, a best friend, like at such a young age, like I have to live without him the rest of my life. So just every day being strong and just surviving and being able to even like live through what has happened, it's always on my mind. It's always gonna be trauma that I'm gonna think about and like things will trigger it like I feel unsafe when other people are driving and just like all of that and just like what he's gonna miss out on as my life goes on my brother it makes me feel bad like just knowing like how my mom witnessed it that was my mom's husband her love of her life and like how now she has to live by herself like that hurts me watching her be sad and same with my brother it hurts me even just like seeing them have to deal with it too like that really bothers me as well so it's just super super hard but that definitely I would say is my number one thing I'm most proud of myself is just being there for myself and getting through every day I need to turn the heat off it is hot with this pizza just <laughs> fuming up on me and I usually don't like eating the crust but with it stuffed with cheese I actually love it it's like a Bosco stick what's your favorite form of self-care like what makes you feel the most happy my favorite would probably be either laying on the beach all day long doing nothing but with people I'm having fun with but with just people I love just doing nothing and relaxing I love that but I mean who doesn't love that so my other favorite self-care I would say is making vodka pasta I have so much enjoyment in making vodka pasta it makes me really happy so like late at night like eight o'clock say start making vodka pasta with a candle maybe with some music going and the like comfy clothes like fresh out of the shower And then after that, when I'm so full, maybe have a bite of chocolate and then just sit comfy on the couch in a blanket with candles lit watching YouTube. Or The Bachelor. I love that little routine right there. 
so much. I get this question a lot. I've been seeing. How do you meet your boyfriend? So happy for you. Thank you. So in my last couple videos, I've talked about like the story of how we met in our first date and whatnot. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, you could check those out. But yeah, we're doing super good. And there's a few more questions that people asked about him. Which we will get to those a little bit later on. But this pizza, I would say literally 10 out of 10. I forgot to get pepperoni on it. But. Still really good. The crust has like all that garlic butter. And like parmesan on it. It's just very delicious. Perfect amount of sauce. Perfect amount of cheese. Perfect amount of grease. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Let me make sure I didn't like chip a tooth. Oh, what the heck? I think I might have like bit my retainer that's down here. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. <laughs> what the hell? Mm. Well, I would definitely recommend getting this pizza. Delicious. Our next stop of the day is Dairy Queen. So we are going to be trying out their new Parmesan garlic sauce and tossed chicken strip basket. So they have a honey barbecue and a Parmesan garlic. We're definitely getting that one. And they are just tossed chicken strip, tossed. They are, this is what it says, new garlic, new Parmesan garlic sauce and tossed chicken strip basket. So it looks like you get a side of maybe ranch or maybe that's more Parmesan sauce. And then fries and some toast, which I know Dairy Queen has like amazing food. Everyone always like raves about Dairy Queen's food. I have not had it in a while, especially their chicken basket. Welcome back to Dairy Queen. If you have the mobile app, please have it ready at the window to scan for points. Hey, you can order whenever you're ready. Hi, can I do the four piece garlic Parmesan chicken strip basket? And okay. that'll be all. You want any additional dipping sauce? Um, does it come with any? No, you can you can get ranch or barbecue or whatever you would like, but we can put no sauce if you don't want it. Oh, okay. I'll do a ranch then, please. Okay. And that'll be it. Thank okay, thank you. So, $9.49. $10 for a small chicken strip basket. Woo! Set a reminder to order a new tripod for the car. Set a reminder to order a new tripod for the car this tripod I've had for like four years now so I use it very often and the piece that the camera sits on is cracked so it's super wobbly that's why it always falls like it's been falling in every single one of my videos and my camera has been through a lot so <laughs> we need to get a new one okay okay thanks okay we got our box of chicken smells amazing so Dairy Queen with the chicken wings. Can they do ice cream and chicken? Ooh, <laughs> wow. Okay, so for $10, this isn't that much food. Like, look how tiny it is. Honestly, this is probably like the serving size. Mmm, okay. That first initial bite, I was like, oh, these are soggy. These are not like cooked. But wow, that's actually a good french fry. And the inside is so yummy. <laughs> mm, this is a good fry. And then we have toast. Some buttered toast. Ooh, I love it when it's nice and soggy like that. Like the butter is just soaked in there. And then I got ranch. And then there is the wings. It's kind of hard to see them in this box. But there we go. Okay. So first, I need a bite of this toast. Mmm. Nothing better than a piece of toast. Breakfast places give you toast like this too, where it's like nice and soggy in the middle from all the butter. And I just love that. Like I feel like toast at home is not like this. Mmm. That is good. 
which I'm surprised this basket does not come with a sauce included. You have to pay 60 cents extra for a sauce, which I mean, wings should automatically come with a sauce. So I think these are bone. Is there a bone in here? I sure hope there's not a bone in here. I don't think so. I think they're like chicken fingers. Wow. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Wing stop who? Okay. By like looking at them and this box, I was like 10 bucks for this. I changed my mind. These are so good. And these might be the, one of the best like boneless chicken wings I've ever had. <laughs> They're so soft. Crispy on the outside. And it just like melts in your mouth. Not chewy at all. It's just like a soft, big chicken bite. And the sauce too is really good. Super sweet, not too parmesan -y. Wow. Mmm. I am amazed right now. I'm gonna dip some french fries in this ranch. I do like how it comes in this little box. It's easy to eat out of in your car, that's for sure. This person asked, favorite food my boyfriend likes? You know, he kind of likes all the same foods as me, which is so perfect. <laughs> I'd say, like, one of his favorites. He loves chicken alfredo so he loves that he loves steak honestly everything I like <laughs> he'll eat seafood but he's not like that crazy on it either I made salmon for us the other day and we both are like okay we're good on eating this now for like a couple months <sighs> Yeah, we both love the same foods and both love to eat. And we love popcorn. We've been eating popcorn a lot lately. I forgot how good popcorn is. It's like such a good snack. And you put some butter on top and then I use the ranch seasoning from Trader Joe's. It makes it amazing. And the foods that he doesn't like are like the same ones as me. <laughs> we both don't like olives. We both don't like mushrooms. Um, other than that, we're like really not that picky, but whenever we go out to eat, like lots of the time we share meals, so he'll pick one and then I'll pick one and then we just share, so we get like two meals. Which makes it a lot of fun because it just works out like perfectly. Mmm, I cannot believe how good these are. Wow. When someone has lost a loved one, what is the best way to support them? You know, always just asking, especially on holidays, asking how they're doing. And just like randomly just asking how they're doing or bringing up that person who passed. I think lots of the time people think like they don't want to bring that person up because they don't want to make you sad. But like in reality... Shit, we might be sad. We might, it might make us cry, but like, if anything, it feels better to know that that person's not being like forgotten about and people are still like thinking about them or bringing up like old memories, which my friends will do that a lot. They'll be like, remember when your dad took us here and remember this and that, but yeah, I think lots of the time people like don't really know what to say or do, which I can see that, but yeah, I would just say... Just always asking and bringing up about the person. You can even send them like positivity quotes and like grief quotes. Would love a girly day vid where you get your hair done, nails done, go shopping, cook something. That sounds like fun. You know, I do do those on my vlog channel. I don't know if all of you know, I do have a second channel. It's called Steps Vlogs. I feel like some of you 
still don't know about that because I don't mention it like that often but I know not everyone watches every single video so you might like miss it every single time I mention it but I do lots of vlogs like that over on that channel. So if you're interested in seeing vlogs of how I do my hair, my makeup, my skincare, coming with me to get my nails done, cooking something, like all things like that, Steph's Vlogs is the place you should check out. So Dairy Queen can make some good chicken fingers. I can't believe how good these are. Like better than most restaurants, like sit down restaurants. Mm. 10 out of 10. Okay guys, we are ending the night at McDonald's getting the new Oreo Shamrock McFlurry. I've never had that. Sounds good. If it's a... How can I help you? Hi, can I do one Shamrock Oreo McFlurry, please? Okay. And that'll be it. Four sixty-nine. Okay, thank you. Ho, 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 ho. I have not had a McFlurry in a long time. The Shamrock Shake. I have not had one of those in like years either. I feel like it's been like three years. But we know in a McFlurry it's gonna be good. It's March. It's March. Hi. Hi. Okay. Thank you too. Can't believe it's March already. It's almost summertime. It's almost boating season. It's almost summer. I am so excited to be able to walk my dogs every day and not have to put on a ton of jackets and be cold. <sighs> I've potty trained all three of my dogs in the winter time. Toffee is like finally getting it. She still has accidents inside, but typical. She's still a puppy. I think she's seven months old now, but she's starting to get it. Like she's starting to walk to the door, and then when she goes out, I let her out. She goes immediately. Hi. Thank you. You too. She goes immediately. So, she is starting to learn. Oh my gosh, look at it, you guys. And when the weather is freezing, like my dogs just don't wanna go outside. Like Hershey especially, she will go outside and it'll be not even that cold. And she just sits on the step and shivers, like refuses to go in the grass. Mmm. It's so green, I don't remember it being this green. Wow. This might be my favorite flavor. Mmm. Ah. It's so sensitive on my teeth. I'm the most sensitive teeth. They put a ton of Oreos in here though. Like every bite has a ton of Oreos. Mm-mm. -mm. Seriously. They have the best ice cream. And it comes from syrup. That's probably how like lots of ice cream comes. Maybe all ice cream until it's like frozen. I don't know. Yeah, right? I don't know, I just know when I worked there, no one ever wanted to change the syrup bag and that's why the machine's always like down. <laughs> I guess it's like, I never changed it. It was like always the guys at work doing it because the bag of syrup, the bag of ice cream was like super heavy and it was just like a very messy job so they always had the guys doing it but it didn't look fun <laughs> I watched it a few times and like yeah it's just messy and sticky like no one ever wanted to do it they should like update those machines and make them easier to clean and stuff. But I guess if it's sticky liquidified ice cream, like that's just gonna be like sticky no matter what. Mm. So this has like a small hint of mint, not too minty at all. Just tastes really refreshing. Like it's like a vanilla mint with chocolate. It's just very good. I think this might be my favorite all day. I liked everything. I would say those Dairy Queen wings really surprised me. Those were just phenomenal. And the pizza was great, but I mean, we all knew that would be good. It's like garlic, cheesy pizza from Papa John's. <laughs> 
Well guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and 24 hour challenge. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know down below or let me know what else you'd like to see me try out next. I love you all so much and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.